to you. It's a new week. We are so stoked that you're here with us. And um, we are going to be doing a stress relief webinar for you today to give you some tools to relieve some stress. Absolutely. I mean, there's been a lot. I don't know how many of you have woken up maybe to pee in the night and then your mind starts going. You start thinking about all kinds of stuff and... You know, or this underlying volume of concern about the future or concern about what's happening in a relationship or what's happening with your finances or your business or where things are going in the future. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. So we want to give you the tools that you need to help relieve that stress. So who are we? We are Health and Balance. This is Dr. Hi, my name Gary is Dr. Arthur. Gary Arthur. I'm a doctor of chiropractic and naturopathic medicine. And been here in Laguna Beach downtown since 1987 and uh, it's it's been a blessing and you know in 1989 I learned about this technique because I had been studying what's called applied kinesiology and it's a much more holistic type of naturopathic medicine and my wife and I were going to be naturopaths and uh, we found we couldn't legally be a naturopath in the 80s in California so we chose our chiropractic degree and a chiropractic doctor had really helped me fix my posture and it, but I still had this yearning to be more of a, a natural medicine doctor mm -hmm. and I found out about this technique in 1989 I took my first seminar neuro emotional technique neuro emotional technique mm -hmm. NET it's also called it was recently seen on Grey's Anatomy mm -hmm. lots of research we'll be getting into that but it's got a lot of notoriety it's 3,000 years of Chinese medicine that it's pulling from to use the wisdom of the ages in mind-body medicine and how to reduce the amount of stress that we have and the, mm -hmm. the stress chemicals and all the effects. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about stress. So like we said, right now, it's been a stressful year for all of us. There's a lot going on. We have a pandemic going on. There's a lot of changes. Um, the holidays are coming up, which can cause some stress. Seeing family, busy time. Um, you know, we the elections just happened, so there's just there's a lot going on right now, and we really want to give you the tools to help you relieve stress at home throughout the day, and um, that's so important because stress really affects our health. So, what are some ways that stress affects our health? Why is it so important that we keep our stress levels down? Well, I think most people have heard of the fight or flight response. And that fight or flight response means like if, if there all of a sudden uh, a lion, mountain lion, jumps out and starts to chase you, you go into a sympathetic dominance mm -hmm. and your body releases all these stress chemicals, uh, adrenaline, cortisol. Now that can give you superhuman strength. I mean, there's stories of mothers lifting a car up and getting a baby out from underneath a tire. I mean, superhuman things that happen. Mm -hmm. But um, on the low level, if, if you think the tiger is somewhere and it's like you just don't know where, you can have a lower level of stress. Now, cortisol is a stress hormone. It does so many things. It dampens your immune response. Mm -hmm. It tightens muscles. It secretes acid in, in the uh, stomach. It um, causes restriction of blood flow away from your internal organs and pushes it into the extremities. So, you know, there's a lot of functions that your body says, hey, this is most important to save my life right now. And these other things, I'm going to put those on hold. Mm -hmm. Now, the other side of the sympathetic dominance, it, the, the fight or flight, is the parasympathetic dominance, which turns on mostly when we're sleeping. That's when our body heals. Yeah. That's when our body relieves tension and lets go and allows us to even dream dreams that help us even to go through stressful situations in our dreams so that we can kind of work through that stress. The Native Americans felt that that we would, um, when we go to sleep, that there would be a traveling in spirit worlds, rather this you know, this euphoric, positive, loving kind, or sometimes these ones that are very, very challenging and scary. Mm -hmm. um, but that you know, when they woke up, um, it was always kind of a relief to go, oh, that was just a dream. It's like, mm -hmm. okay. So, yeah. Um, stress, yeah, stress has has a, a lot of negative effects, and I, I'm going to actually show you the results of a of a research project that was just done finished two years ago 
at Thomas Jefferson University in downtown Philadelphia that showed the effects of stress and the effects of relieving stress from the body and the mind by using this technique called neuroemotional technique. Today what we're going to do is we're going to show you a little self-help technique called the FAST technique, which will explain so that if you don't have time to get in and see a neuroemotional technique practitioner or an NET practitioner, if you want to go to the, uh, the website and find an NET practitioner in your area, you go to net mindbody.com n-e-t-m-i-n-d-b-o-d-y dot com and you, there's a couple of introductory videos one six minute introductory video on the left hand side when it first opens up and then a six minute on the right that shows the newest research that came out of Thomas Jefferson University it's awesome I love it so let's talk about fast technique how do we do it let's get into the nitty gritty and teach all right, well, well, let me just show you why you would do FAST technique, yes, and, and I'll tell you how to do it. So here's the study that I just was talking about. This is the one that was done at Thomas Jefferson Medical University. They had some cancer survivors, and what they did was they had people on a video MRI of the brain, and then on a time sequence, they said, now remember when the doctor came in the room and said, you have cancer, and the, they watched the brain boom, light up with a stress response. And then uh, from the front and then from the side. And then over the course of the next four weeks, all these people worked with an NET certified practitioner and they did four hours of neuroemotional technique all about how they felt and everything. And then they redid the test four weeks later and there was no stress response in the, in the brain. Also, they found with their breathing rate and their pulse rate before um, the NET was done and after the NET was done, you can tell physiologically there was big change, brain chemistry and the physiological functioning of the body. Wow. If you want to know so more awesome. about this, you can come by and get a brochure, um, but this basically shows NET, mind body stress relief. It shows how um, imprints from our youth and the dog that bit us and everything. And now, why do we really like dogs? Because we still have these belief systems. Um, but, you know, there's the Pavlovian, Pavlovian response there, the digging of the bell. It's all based on, on good, strong science. And then there's a documentary that's been made. And I was just looking at, is it Prime? Is it? Netflix. Um, if you go to stressedoc.com, stressed then that actually shows you where you can um, actually get. Yes, you can the watch this. You can watch this documentary. My wife and I invested uh, a sizable amount of money to help get this documentary made and released to the public. But it's called Stress. It's uh, really, really good if you want to see what's what's really happening. Mm -hmm. So let's go through the fast technique now. I don't know if it's if it's possible that I could can I come a little closer with this and have it be read? Would that be yeah, okay? Yeah, and we're also gonna um, give you the link to get this PDF okay, good. as well, so that you can look at it in front of you um, while you're watching this. So that's gonna be in the comments. There. So there, there's the pulse, and on the body, um, the acupuncture pulse points are on the wrist. Let me just show them to you right here. There's three fingers. Um, these are the pulse points. When you go to an acupuncturist, they'll evaluate the flow of energy through your meridians. There is a fourth one here, right past the crease of the, of the thumb. I like to include that one too because it has to do with what's called the conception vessel, the governing vessel. But if you take uh, your fingers on these, you'll see your fingers uh, fit nicely right there and also on there. The three go right into the full, the one goes right above it. And so the idea is that stress has to get processed. Your body has certain um, feelings that come on. Can you pass me the card over there? See that little NET card right there? Right there? Good. There's one new one. Let me have a new one. So 3,000 years of Chinese research, one of the yellow emperors 
made a mandate that uh, the Chinese doctors had to, when they were evaluating people's pulses and there were their their um, their health problems were, they also asked them what are their reoccurring feelings. They'd look at their tongue, they'd smell their breath, um, and they'd ask them what feelings they were feeling. And so, for example, this is 3,000 years of research on this little card, and you can check some of this stuff out um, online. But for example, uh, people with lung and large intestine problems were the ones that reported that they were stuck in grief, sadness, yearning, anguish, cloudy thinking, defensiveness, crying. Um, that's kind of the, the, the emotional profile of a person with large intestine lung meridian problems. Where the liver gallbladder, they're the ones stuck in anger, resentment, depression, um, aggression, uh, indecision, you know, all these things. So there's different profiles. So when you put your hands on here, these pul pulse points, you're basically going to be contacting. Now with an NET practitioner, you can get very, very specific going into exactly which system is it in and also be able to find when your body first had a physiological response to that stress. It's, uh, it's really cool. It's much more in depth. But this technique is a general one to help you be able to um, start to delete your body's response to the feeling, to the stress that you're having. Mm -hmm. So, for example, let's just say that you're really upset with what was happening with the elections. Not if you're an independent, a Democrat, a Republican. I'm not going there with anybody. But let's just say that all the stress leading up to it um, was stressful. And let's just say that maybe the stress was fear that that candidate would get, get elected and all of that party's uh, plans and uh, you know, policies were going to be in effect and that you didn't like. And let's just say it was fear, or let's say it was anger, or let's say it was resentment. That part doesn't matter, but the idea is just to focus in on what is the stress here, and you start to think about the stress, and then put your you hands. Kind of feel it. Yeah, right? let yourself feel it. Mm -hmm. Like try to go into it and feel what it feels like: mm -hmm. the anger, the resentment, the fear, the hopelessness, whatever the feeling was. Try to refine it down to what it feels like. And then you put your fingers like this on your, your wrist and then put your hand like this on your forehead and then breathe into that feeling. So you I want was, to go in through the nose, out yeah, through the mouth? In, in through the nose, out through the mouth is considered best when you look at Qigong breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. And, and the idea is to keep on breathing in, feel the feeling. I use a couple analogies. One is to like drop the bucket down into the well, grab the feeling, feel it, and then pull it up, breathe it out, and throw it out. And then the breath in, go down and find it again. Or go into like your air, your balloon filled with stress Go in, find it, and then every breath out, just let a little bit of the air out of the balloon. Keep on going until you don't feel as much of a physiological response to that feeling again. Mm -hmm. And this is called the fast technique. And then after you're done, maybe maybe four, ten, it depends on how much the feeling's got a hold of you. If you're on the verge of tears because someone has just broken up with you or what have you, then take your time. Just take a time out. I have some people that are stressed or at work. Just go take a bathroom break. Go in there and close the stall and just sit there and breathe, you know. And then once you've done that and you start to maybe feel a little bit lessening, like the volume of the feeling is starting to be turned down, then go to the other side. Three fingers and do the one. So the just three, three fingers? Three fingers is what the fast technique I'm just saying that the governing vessel, conception vessel, you can bring that fourth finger there. And that's up on the palm. It's right there next to the crack. So your fingers just are, are just touching each other barely like that. 
and then just put your hand the top here. one's right at the crease of your just wrist. Just above the crease. Just above the crease. Yes, right here. Right there. Put your three fingers and add the one, boom, you're ready to go. And then do both sides. And there's a, there's an advanced technique. Once you get that, that one done um, and you notice, you can say, well, what else am I feeling? Mm -hmm. And you can kind of go into that and just take a little time out and do this fast technique for yourself, even with little kids. I mean, look at this little kid. This little kid, right, this little girl, already doing fast technique on herself because she's mad because her brother pushed her down or tripped her or, or, or ate her donut or whatever. <laughs> you know? I love that. And that so really she goes, okay, all right. Um, what's her name here? Uh, Julie? Hey, okay, didn't you Julie? eat my donut recently? Nope. <laughs> no. No, I didn't. I only do gluten-free ones and it's very rare. Yeah. <laughs> but... Um, but there it is, Julie, put those fingers on there and let's go get in touch with how mad you are at your brother and breathe through it. Because there's, you know, would you get that book, Who Gets Sick, up there, and Mind, Body, Medicine, The Biology of Belief, and Feelings Buried Alive and Never Die. See those four right there? Here, I'll get them right here. So, so this is just such a great thing that you can do on your own. I love that idea of just going to taking a bathroom break and just... Stepping out, dealing with the feeling, right as it comes. It's so important. So, here's a couple books, just uh, if you're a reader and you want to know more. This one is called Who Gets Sick by Blair Justice, PhD. This is the profile that a lot of people that stuff their feelings are the ones that have higher incidences of cancer. Mm -hmm. So it's not good to stuff your feelings, process them. Mm -hmm. This one, feelings buried alive never die. That's another one. Good. That's the one the mom was just reading. We just, <clears throat> we've been reading out of it. It's been really good. Uh -huh. Mind body therapy, healing, and hypnosis. This one is great. It's of Bruce Lipton, The Biology of Belief. Mm -hmm. How our feelings and our belief systems actually change our physiology. Mm -hmm. Candace Pert, who was one of the groundbreakers, she recently passed away. She started the term called psychoneuroimmunology. She found that people that are under stress, their immune system plummets. Um, so it's good to relieve the stress. This one, uh, Dr. John Sarno, fascinating uh, book. He recently passed away. Um, but he talked about how he feels the most back pain is related to emotional stress. Mm -hmm. So you have some orthopedics or medical doctors that go way over here and say everything's structural. There's no, no, nothing to having to do with your feelings and pain. And then you have Sarno on the other end, medical doctor, orthopedist, that says it basically all has to do with emotions and feelings. So there's a, there's a lot to it. Um, I found some of the biggest groundbreaking changes and breakthroughs and healing. People that have been stuck, that get unstuck. It's all really about you know, our bodies being made to heal themselves. Mm -hmm. And they're designed to heal themselves. God made our bodies to heal. You think about two cells came together and, and that spark of life, when they joined, now there's a spark of life. And over the course of nine months, a masterpiece is made, right? And that, that same power that made the body and built the nervous system and all your organs is still at work within us. And you think about the fact there's over 657 functions of the liver that are all going on. The liver's doing this and that. You think about a healthy person has two and a half million red blood cells made every single second. Two and a half million. Two and a half million. Two and a half million. 250,000 white blood cells made every single second. It's an incredible body. But when there's interference, we call that interference in that healing process stress. Stress can be emotional stress. It can be structural stress because you're tweaked. It can be physiological stress or nutritional biochemical stress like, you know, you're dehydrated or you have allergies or your immune system, you're fighting off a bug. It can even be electrical stress um, having to do with the flow of electricity through the body. So those stressors interfere with our body's ability to heal. The more we can relieve our stressors, do things that are healthy, that things that you love, 
like just loving your body, realizing your body loves you, and let's take better care of ourselves mm -hmm. and uh, and do the things we love. If you love to paint, paint. If you love to sing, sing. Mm -hmm. If you love to exercise, exercise. If you love to get a massage, then get a massage or give a massage. You know, just start to uh, do more of what you love and let let this stuff go because it's only going to interfere with our body's ability to heal. Yeah. So we put together um, a blog actually a while back with all these tools for relieving stress. So you can visit our website at healthinbalance.com. If you go to um, resources, media, and blog, and just search in our blog, you can find that stress relief um, uh, blog that basically talks about the fast technique. It gives you the live stream that we did a while back on stress relief. Um, it also talks about qigong breathing. That's a really good tool that we use for stress relief. Um, so it gives you a lot of really great information. And also, we're going to put up the link to that blog so that you can um, you can take a look at that. One last thing is, I wanted to just hear a story from one of your patients that got NET and how it kind of um, helped them get over any areas of pain and, and stress in their life. All right, one last story. And then um, we'll wrap it up. So there was this lovely lady. She said I could tell the story and tell her name. It was uh, Christine Higdon. And she was 86 when she came in. And I was washing my hands in between patients. And I looked in the lobby. And here's this elderly woman coughing profusely. And she had her hanky. And she pulled her hanky away. I could see it was bloody. And I went, okay. So kind of parentally me being probably at the time I was probably 35 and uh, I went over and said hi Mrs. Higdon I'm Dr. Arthur nice to meet you she said hi and I said uh, Mrs. Higdon uh, you got quite a cough she goes I know and I said um, I noticed the blood on your handkerchief she goes yeah I said Mrs. Higdon tapped her knee you need to get to the hospital right now and then she squinted at me she stared at me she goes listen here Dr. Arthur if you're not, I've been in and out of the hospital for the last two years. I've taken every damn drug they got, and nothing's helping me. And the only reason I'm here is because my son said you help people get well where other people and other systems have failed. So if you're not going to take me back there and see if you can help me, I'm just going to leave right now. I said, okay, Mrs. Higdon, okay, come on down. So I did a basically a four-system assessment to try to see if I could figure out where the stress was, looking at four different systems, the structural the biochemical, the emotional, the electrical systems of the body. And so what I did was I found out she had an active acupuncture point for the lungs. Right here is a lung control point. Um, then I assessed that she, the vertebra that, that allows the electricity to go from the brain down through the, the hole in the skull and down through the neck and out to the lungs that that vertebra was very, very tender. When I took an x-ray of her, I found that it was twisted way over. So that's kind of like a dimmer switch. The, elect the electrical charge from the brain wasn't getting through to the lungs the way that it could be because of manual pressure on the nerve root. Mm -hmm. Which, this is just the body's basic wiring. This is just a basic, simple anatomy and neurology. And then I did an assessment using kinesiology and I suspected that she may have a, an overgrowth of yeast, uh, a viral colony, and even a um, bacteria-resistant um, form of a bacteria, like it, that was resistant to antibiotics, because so she had tried all these antibiotics and it hadn't done it. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, well, what else could it be? And that's what I was suspecting. And um, you know, we and only medical doctors can actually treat microbes and bugs, but what we did was we made recommendations for antimicrobials to, to help to boost the immune response and lift up the body's ability to heal itself. And then the last thing I did, so now I'm three out of three, and I said, so tell me what happened two years ago? And she started to cry. She goes, well, my husband of 67 years passed away. We were married at 19. And so you look at, at the emotions of the lung, grief, sadness, yearning, anguish, crying, all pretty heavy lung emotions. So, so I said, okay, well, why don't you come back tomorrow and let's talk about your case. So she said, the first thing, and she goes, can you help me? I said, 
I think I can help you, but I want to be straight with you. I hesitate to take your case on. She goes, why would you hesitate? I said, because I think what it's going to take is going to take a lot of work on your part, and it's not going to happen overnight. She goes, well, what does that mean? And I showed her a plan of care. And I said, you know, I can, I can do treatment on you, but it's going to take time, and it's going to be very comprehensive. It's going to be an integrative approach. We're going to need to get you not to have your chocolate and your wine for a while. We're going to take a vacation off of those. Uh, I've got to get you off of fermented foods, and, and we're going to do some of this mind-body neuroemotional technique. We're going to do some very gentle manipulative therapies to help open up the pathway to the lungs. And uh, there's some nutritional products. I'm going to stimulate some acupuncture points with lasers. And she goes, well, that's very, that's very, um, Comprehensive, and I said, "Yes, it is." She goes, "What's that all going to cost?" She goes, "Oh my gosh, that's a lot." I said, "I know. That's why I'm hesitating." She goes, "Well, I'm going to give it a try." She goes, "Let's do it. Let's go." And so, eight weeks later, she was all well, and it was really neat to see. I had a couple checkpoints along the way to see if she was getting better. I had her monitor her symptoms, how her lungs felt on a daily basis. She would say, "Yeah, my lungs were instead of a nine, now they're down to a." a six and a five, you know, they start, we started to see that things were improving. Mm -hmm. So it was neat to see, and that, that was Christine, and uh, hopefully that story will give you a little bit of hope, and, and perhaps even um, have you want to share this video with someone else that's going through a lot right now, and, mm -hmm. and uh, we, I call people like you hope givers, because if you share a message of hope, a lot of times that's what another person needed to be able to get well. So hopefully that's you. <laughs> oh, such a sweetheart. <laughs> yes, that's what we want. We want to be giving hope to you and then allow you to be a hope giver to others. Um, so that we hope that this really did give you hope today and gave you some really good tangible tools to be able to do these things at home and get yourself through any stress that you're working through. And use it consecutively. Keep it in your back pocket as a tool um, throughout your day throughout your years to um, keep yourself healthy and, and work through that stress. Um, we all have to, you know, feelings buried alive never die. So it's it's really something that we have to keep up all the time because we're all going through life. There's pain, there's stress, there's things going on, and, and we just have to learn to deal with those it's things. It's kind of like doing dishes or doing laundry. Yeah, totally. Dirty dishes and dirty clothes happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So do feelings of stress. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then we wanted to offer you guys a gift for joining us and being on this video with us is the ability to come in and do your own NET session with Dr. Gary or Dr. Lisa. Um, They're both NET practitioners and I love NET so much. I think it's so interesting. I, I tap into all these like crazy things that I didn't even realize, operating systems of my own mentality and belief systems that I wasn't even realizing I was operating in. And I've seen myself be able to walk out in so many different new ways of operating because I changed my belief system and I've gotten okay and congruent with a new set of beliefs. And then I actually see my actions change in my life and I think that's what's really cool is seeing you come into a new space where you're like actually okay to to step into this new position at work and you're ready and you're congruent with it or you are operating in, new, in a new way in your relationships where you're not walking out in fear, whatever it may be, you can come into your NET session either with something specific you want to work on in terms of like maybe it's a belief like you're like, I don't feel good about um, stepping forward in this, into this new relationship. So we can get to what's the emotion behind that. Or you can come in with an area in your body that you suspect is flaring up in pain because of an emotion. So then we tap into that area of the body and we find what, what emotion is underneath it. So it's really, it's amazing and it's fascinating and you see their effects and I just love it. Yes, some people are in a rut. Some people have been suffering for so long or they're sabotaging themselves over and over and over. They want to lose weight but they can never seem to do it because mm -hmm. they keep on feeling a certain feeling and then eating. It's like, oh, you know, and then you just keep on going. And sometimes, um, you know, you can actually check your congruency, much like a lie detector test using NET, as you see these videos, 
Um, it uses neurological muscle testing to see what your body's response is to even a goal you might have of getting out of pain mm -hmm. or letting go of 10 pounds for good or what have you. Yeah. Leaving, even loving your spouse. Maybe you're so pissed off at them, you find that it's hard to love them or hard to be joyful, you know, with them. Mm -hmm. um, it has a lot of, a lot of ways of, of affecting us. So it is much like, you know, the download of, of a new operating system on your iPhone where you say, okay, am I willing to have a, a more um, advantageous outlook and a belief system that will help me in my life so that I download a new one that I'm congruent with, or almost even like a, a medicine statement of who am I, what am I here to do, um, you know, and, and how do I want to be in this world? Mm -hmm. How do I want to hold space in this world? So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's really cool how deep you can go. So yeah, we, we are basically offering an introductory yeah. session. You mm -hmm. fill out a couple forms, there's a questionnaire about the stresses in your life, there's two actually, and then what you really want to see in your life, you know, in, the, in different areas of your life. And then we go through that together. We sit down and then we do the first session. And then if this is a fit for you, then we can talk to you about, you know, what it would look like to have more professional help besides the past technique. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So this is for both patients. And if you're new or you've never been to our office, this is for you as well. So it's um, the intro NET session. We're offering it for 97 as a special to you. So you can give us a call. Um, our number is 949-497-2553. So you can schedule that way. Um, and you can also email us, office at healthandbalance.com, or just visit our website at healthandbalance.com and check us out there and get scheduled. So we would love to connect with you. We want to give you everything that you need to um, just live your healthy life. And we're always here. We're always doing a lot of different videos and giving you content um, for that goal, to keep you healthy and well. So sending all of our love, sending health and wellness to you. And um, we look forward to seeing you on our next video.